Hi, are you experiencing wind knots? Has your line capacity decreased? Does your reel taper up or down? Here at Zach Bostic Fishing Channel, we're gonna show you how to fix that. I'm sorry guys, I, I, I just wanted to make a real, a real cringy intro today. Anyway. All right, guys. Well, I mean, the gloves are kind of unnecessary. I was just trying to <laughs> help you see the reel, but they're black gloves and it's a black reel, so that may or may not have helped. This is my Daiwa BG spinning reel, obviously, and it is the 4,000 size. Now, I absolutely love this reel. As far as value for your money, this is the best reel, but that is a different video. Today, we are talking about this issue. As you can see, the line is uneven. It is tapering up. Is that right? Is it tapering up? It's coning up, and as you know, that can decrease line capacity. It can create Create more wind knots and overall it just looks hideous but what this is showing us is that the spool or the spools travel distance from going up when you're spinning to going back down is spending too much time or going too far down so what I mean by that is you see spool goes up spool goes down and right there when it's down here it's putting the line on right here and it's bringing the spool too far down so that's why we're getting more line up top did that make sense <laughs> So what we wanna do is we wanna get this even. We wanna get this guy even. We wanna have it all straightened out. You can see up here at the top ring that it is pretty much almost max capacity there. And at the bottom, you know, we have a lot more room. All that means is we gotta move this spool up. We have to move it up just a little bit, but enough to where it's gonna put the line on the spool correctly. So what do we need to fix this? Good question. Most reels come, for example, this pin conflict too I just purchased come with these, which are spacers. Some people call them shims, whatever. But typically most decent spinning reels you get, it will come with extra set, maybe two of these in a bag in your box. Don't lose them. Somebody sitting behind this camera made that mistake with, with this guy. Yeah, not really sure where the ones for this went. To be honest, I'm not really even sure if these came with this reel when I bought it. Did I buy this reel used? So anyway, although, let's get this guy out of the way. Although we do not have the parts for this reel, I have plenty of spare reels left over that are broken. That's why I usually keep my broken reels for the parts. Sometimes you'll have a reel that has interchangeable parts. Give me a little while and hopefully this doesn't take too long. Let me go find another reel. Okay, so. I don't know if y'all remember from the videos, this is Old Faithful, been through a lot, but this is the donor reel. And I took a peek at it underneath the spool and I think this part is gonna work. We're just gonna take off the drag. Both of these guys. Just, oh, there we go. All right, took that all off. All right, so we have that off, that off. Got the little tool here to help point out what's going on. So some reels, like this one, the BG, it actually has a small rubber band, which needs to be removed, just right there, that little guy. And this actually has a bearing before you reach the shims here. So we'll go ahead and remove these. Do not lose that rubber band. Do not lose this bearing. We're just, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna take the rubber band off first because you don't want the bearing to roll over the rubber band. You don't want that rolling over the rubber band and damaging it. So there we go, we have the bearing off with the rubber band and now we have access to where we are going to put our spacer or our shim. So, donor reel, here you go. This one's a little bit different. As y'all can see, this one does not have a rubber band nor does it have the bearing. Here's the shims right here. There, can you see those? Is that helping at all? There we go, yeah, you can see them now. All we're gonna do right now, do this. See, I just, I just moved this one down that was actually two and usually they have about two because if the line lays opposite of what is going on with this one then you would be taking one of these off back to the current situation we're going to very slowly work this guy off and there is one one shim back to bg and if you guys have the grease i don't have the grease this is a good time to grease your parts when you're putting it on the size is very comparable this is the moment of truth yeah. oh Oh, wow, that is just about perfect. Now that that's done, and if you guys can see the struggle bus that I'm on right now trying to pick up this damn Baron. Shit, I just dropped it. I just dropped it. All right, there's the Baron. Got our little rubber band. 
just gonna slide him down like so. And now we put that on. Now we are all good. I'm gonna take this line off and then the moment of truth, well, the second moment of truth will be, will it lay the line correctly? All right, let's take this line off. All right, make sure we're all tightened up. Nail down and we start to bring the line in. Let's hope it lays even. As of right now, so far so good. Looking even on the mono backing so far. I mean, that's just proof that it's gonna work, but we're gonna continue obviously to put the rest of the line on there with the main line being braided. And start the fast forward process now. Man, look at that. I mean, that's an old ass braid, <laughs> but that is 100% better. And as you can see, the top and the bottom just about equal there and the sides of the spool are straight lines rather than out or in or in or out or whatever that's a simple fix and i mean it saves some money hopefully it does save some money it saves you a trip to the real repair guy for the cost of nothing i mean all, all of us hopefully have spare reels that we can <laughs> see if we can find some you know parts from to use that's why i hold on to that stuff it's better so much better doesn't look goofy when knots are going to be reduced and the line capacity is what it should be because it's laying even i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it made some sense real easy way again to save money and to just do it yourself at home with spare parts are hopefully the parts that it came with hold on to your spare parts hold on to your boxes hold on to your washers hold on to your instructions hold on to it all not to mention resale value of reels and everything is so much better when you have all the original parts thank you for watching the video if you liked the video and it helped you give it a thumbs up if you have a comment or a question put it down below in the comments and if you want to continue following my channel fishing 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 only fishing related stuff consider subscribing to my channel thank you for stopping by and i will catch you next time